In the last video, we learned how basic commands work, but entering commands directly into the command bar isn't very useful on its own. If you want to make a game, you generally need more complex code that reacts to what the players do, and for that, you need scripts. I'm Marshall from Codekit, and we've taught thousands of kids how to code in Roblox. Welcome back to our free course on Roblox scripting. Scripts are just text files where you can keep a lot of commands in the same place. If you go over to the workspace and add a script object, it should open automatically, and you'll see that the first line actually uses that same print command we used in the first video. If you run the game, you'll see that message pop up in the output window. That's because if a script is in the workspace, it immediately runs all of its commands in order as soon as the game starts. We'll go deeper into the coding in the next video, but for now, if you want to make something simple and fun, try erasing all the text in that file and writing these two lines of code exactly exactly as they're shown here in the video, you can pause it if you want to make sure you get it just right. Then just run the game, walk off the spawn platform, and, well, you can see the results. If you want to be a real pro in Roblox, CodeKid can help. We have tons of courses on how to make all sorts of stuff in Roblox, like mining simulators, adventure maps, battle royales, and more. You can start your free trial by going to CodeKid.com. Well, that's it for this video. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a very important video call to make. Okay, Santa, go ahead and turn the laptop around now and talk to me. You can talk to them later. Come on, you already know if they've been naughty or nice. Now turn the laptop around and talk to me. I need attention.